Hi, David here of Lancaster Honda. And here we've got a Honda HRV EX 2019 69 plate. And what I'll be doing here is just showing you around the features of this vehicle, and showing you the condition it's in. So it's also a 1.5 petrol in a manual. So first place we'll start anyway is driver's rear wheel. So you can see the diamond cut alloy design. I'll spend a little bit longer on this one so you can take the design in and then I'll spend a little less time on each one subsequently. Down the side of the vehicle, you can see there's no dents anywhere. The reflections are nice and clear, shows up even better on a black car actually. And just while we're on it, some of the features of the EX model, so you do get tinted windows all round at the back. And you also get keyless entry, but we'll work our way around and come back to that after. Which also causes wing mirrors to fold in as well. And just as we're moving round, come to the second alloy. As I said, I'll spend a little less time on that just to confirm there's no damage. Just get a little bit closer to go around the edge where most people tend to curve them. As you can see, nothing there. So then onto the front. So you do get some LED running lights, which is this section here. So they do look quite nice with the vehicle switched on. And then on the front, you've also got parking sensors as well. So two there at the front, two there on the other side. And then moving on, and got your passenger side front wheel. There's a tiny bit of marking on that nothing else and again down the side of the vehicle there you can see there's no dints no scratches nothing along those lines and then down the side of the vehicle from the rear just to give you the same shot and you can also see it's had new tires on as well because it wouldn't have all this around the edge otherwise but again no damage on that one at all so onto all the features with it being an EX model. You can see glass roof there, and roof bars all the way along. Then also got parking sensors along the rear as well. So there's one at each corner, just a little bit higher up. Two down at the bottom. Again, as I said, there's the other one. And you also get reverse camera there. Fairly central as well, so it's not offset really. It gives you quite a clear view. Just while we're at the back of the vehicle as well, just open it up so the keyless entry does work at the back as well. So while we're here in the boot, we do get 12 volt power outlet up there. And there's a little bit of sort of storage along this side. So you can keep some sort of out the way in there. You don't get the same on the other side, because inside there you get your inflation kit. However, underneath the boot floor, you've also got a spare wheel in this model. So some people aren't the biggest fan of inflation kits, so this one does come with both. So you could get away with two flat tyres in this and you'd still be going. You can remove that if you want to use space underneath, it is quite sizeable as you can fit a wheel in it. But you don't always have to. And you've got a couple of straps underneath here as well, so if you want to store something under there you can. So fairly practical so far. And then I'll just pop the seat forward. So you can see it does fold completely flat. So it's a really practical vehicle this one, but that's not the extent of the seat, so I'll come to the rest of that in a moment. So we'll just close the boot. And it won't open there, because as I said, the vehicle's not open, so I'll just unlock that. There we are. So into the back, first thing you spot is that the base of the seat folds completely into the floor, that's what allows it to go flat. So there's also a two-stage backrest, so you can have it there, or a little bit further back. And it's also on the leather seats and then this is the feature that i love in these because you get what's called honda's magic seat system so the base can actually fold up so i'll just try and get out the sunlight there so it gives you loads of space vertically in the vehicle so if something won't quite go in the boot because it's a bit too tall more than likely it'll go in the back assuming you've got no passengers obviously and there we go put that back to normal so as i said you do get keyless entry so the wing mirror is currently in what you do is just put your hand behind with the key in range, it does open up, and there you go, and the mirror comes out. So when you jump in, you do also have electric windows all around, and you have a button there if you do want to manually close the wing mirrors. Then when you jump in, there's a little safety panel here, so you've got your lane departure warning button there, parking sensors, economy button, vehicle stability assist and your alarm. 
around. Alongside the keyless entry, we've also got keyless start, so as long as your foot's on the clutch, just press that, everything jumps straight into life. And we'll just wait a second for the mileage to pop up. Well, it won't do while my seatbelt warning's there. So the mileage there, 5,038. So it is very low mileage for the age. And it does come with a whole heap of features inside. So I've already shown it's got leather seats, got the reverse camera, parking sensors, keyless entry, keyless start, roof bars, panoramic roof, I'll show you a bit more about that in a second. But starting with the wheels, so you do have cruise control with a speed limiter over on this side. Then got some sort of menu functions on this side alongside your audio controls. So if you wanna see how they work, the top button there allows you to click through navigation, phone and audio. And the bottom button there, so it depends on what you're on, but it'll bring us to nav at the moment. So moving down a little further, you've got your trip computer buttons down here. That's just for the little screen on the right hand side down there. That's what I pressed. I pressed the little eye to clear the um, seatbelt sort of warning. And then over on this side, you've got your dedicated phone buttons. So you've got your answer, end call, and then your voice control. Over on that side of the wheel, left hand side, you've got your automatic lights and your indicators. Over on the, white, uh, on the right, you've got your automatic wipers and then all your washers. And then moving over to the centre screen, so you do have sat nav in this, so I'll just tap the map so it does respond nice and quickly. And it's currently showing our location, White London Industrial Estate. We'll just go back to home. So there's a bit of a shortcut if you want to see all your audio settings. So you can normally tap the, the little setting is up there, whether it says Bluetooth, FM, and it'll show you all your different audio inputs. You've got multiple different radio bandwidths, including DAB. You've got smartphone connections, so that's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You've got iPod, USB, Bluetooth, HDMI, and CD. So pretty much any way you want to connect your phone up, you can do. And then onto other features with the center screen. As we said, there's a reverse camera. You do get three settings there. So you've got wide angle view, standard view, and then top down. So again, really easy to park with the parking sensors as well. Take ourselves out reverser. And then moving down, so there's a few more features in this one. So it is dual zone climate control. So if we just tap auto, both are on low at the moment. I can definitely confirm straight away that the aircon works. There you go, 19 degrees on one side, 20 on the other. And then you may have spotted these as well. So heated seats with a high and low setting. So you've got that passenger side and driver's side. So we'll just turn this all off for now. If you do want both sides on the same setting, so you don't have to adjust independently, you just tap the synchronize button. And you've also got your auto stop start off there. Nice six speed manual gearbox, Honda's usual short throws, so really nice to use. Behind that, you've got your electronic parking brake with a brake hold function. And then you come to the cup holders in the HRV, which is quite an unusual area, but very functional. So you can pull the armrest back, so it does have two stages as well. So there's the first, there's the second. Try and hold it a bit more vertical just to keep the sun off. So you can fold in the sides, push the base down, and you can get big bottles in there. So you can Flick it back, or you can have a combination of one or the other, as you can see there. So no matter what drink you've got, it's more than likely going to fit in here. And then behind the centre armrest, you've got a very shallow little area that will maybe hold a credit or debit card. And then you've got a slightly deeper one just there. And I believe might be something been left in there, a little plastic cover, or I believe it's key cover. So we'll be keeping that safe. But onto the last little features then, club box space. So plenty of room in there and you can see locking wheel nuts as well, book packs all full. So everything you'd expect is in there. And then I'll just open the door just to make the last bit a bit easier to see. So I did say a panoramic roof. So controls for that here, just pull that back and the whole thing can open. So you've got a cover and an opening roof there. So if you want to open the cover, that's this one. So we can open that a little further if you want some rear seat viewing through the roof or you've got the actual roof itself there so you can close that and that one and then we'll just close the cover again just show it all does work very nice and easily it's fairly quick as well considering it does cover the whole roof so yeah if you're looking for a honda hrv plenty of features this would definitely be the one for you if you're interested or you'd like a little bit of extra info just give us a call, we'll see what we can do. Otherwise, thanks, take care, bye.